Our first play is Theodore and Me by Jaquel Tomlin. Jaquel has joined us. Um, our actors for Theodore and Me are Tiana Lockhart as Jade Rose and Karen Anton as Theodore. And I'll be reading stage directions. Now, now Jaquel will give you a little bit about the play and uh, we'll get started. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for Theodore and Me, Jade Rowe returns to her childhood home Unsettled by recent decisions, she is seeking comfort from her old companion and desiring strength to manage an unpredictable future. Theodore and Me by Jaquel Tomlin. Setting, the childhood home of Jade Rose. Jade Rose enters the home holding her suitcases. She stops, puts her suitcases down and takes in the aroma. It's always so good to be home. No matter how long or how far, whenever I come back, there's no place like home. I'm sure mom is out getting my favorite foods for dinner. I can already smell the sweet potato pie. Mm. She would always make a pie to reward me for something great I did. I don't know if this trip home is pie worthy. She looks at pictures on the wall. These pictures. I begged mom to take them down. Kindergarten, no teeth. Second grade, messed up hair. Fourth grade, spaghetti on my shirt. Eighth grade, makeup fail. The humiliation never ends. <laughs> Mom says she'll take them down when she has something to replace them with. She walks to a doorway and looks in. Mm, my bedroom, a shrine to my youth, frozen in time. The pageant crowns, walk straight, smile big, pose, pose, Ooh, track and field. I learned how to run and jump my way through anything. My old games, be strategic, be calculating. I had to make sure all the pieces fit together. Is it all just a game? Something catches her eye on a shelf. <gasps> Theodore! She grabs an 18 inch tall, dark brown plush, but worn bare off the shelf, kisses him, grabs his arm, swings him around in the center of the room, in mid-swing, she stops, feeling dizzy. She sits on the bed and places Theodore next to her. Ugh, I'm so sorry. I forgot how much you hate being swung around like a rag doll. It's okay. I I'm just glad to see you. <laughs> Me too. It's been too long. Yes, we have lots of history. I remember when we first met. You do? Of course. It was the best day of my life. You were so tiny and sweet. You cried a lot, but but it was okay. I, I was just happy to be with you. I remember. We were always together. Well, you were too young to remember all of it. <laughs> we go way back. What do you mean? Well, I remember the early morning feedings, the bottles, the changes, the diapers, and the poo. Poo? Yeah, you did that a lot. So much, I found myself in a whirlpool all the time, around and around and then into the dryer. I am lucky to have survived my childhood. Oh, gee, <laughs> I apologize. How embarrassing. You hated peas and carrots, but liked sweet potatoes. You didn't care for milk, but you liked apple juice. Wow, you do remember a lot. All the tea parties and hide and seek. You never found me. You were good at it. You know, you didn't have a lot of friends. That was okay with me, but you seemed to want to have all those other people around. I always wanted a brother or sister, someone to take care of, look after, you know? Not really. What about me? You were, 
are great. You are great too. I did my best. I appreciate your efforts to save my life. When I lost an eye to the cat, it fixed me right up. <laughs> and then that dog, <laughs> you practically did a full body transplant with all that stuffing. You were a great surgeon. But I still can't figure out why you left me alone to be molested by neighborhood strays. My bad. I know you didn't mean it. Back then, there was no course for companion care. I would never hurt you intentionally. I would do anything for you. You were my best friend. What do you mean, were? I don't see you as much. I know. Not my fault. I'm sorry. Things have been a little strained between you and me. People grow up. I get it. Yes. But still, you should have never let time or distance or anything or anyone come between us. I know. After a while, you stopped inviting me to your birthday parties. I never went to a pool party. You ignored me during prom season, and I was only in one graduation picture. I'm, I'm sorry. I really was focused on high school. I had to get good grades. I had to do all of the clubs and events to go to community service. Then there was track practice. I wanted to quit, but then I got good and started to really enjoy it. And college, you kept taking me in and out of boxes. And I heard all of this talking about checklist and storage and getting lost. And then you left me here. I didn't have space in my dorm room for everything. Space? I'm a spot on a shelf. I saw the pictures. You could have made room for me. You have space And so many visitors to play with? Play? <laughs> Don't remind me. All the pulling and tugging and dressing up. You never put a dress on me. All they did was put dresses on me. Flowery hats and lipstick. Lipstick. And it was never the right shade. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be funny. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were happy. I thought you were happy. I was for a while. Yeah, when you moved into that place and brought me with you. I thought it was a good idea. It wasn't. I know that now. He wasn't that bad. He was a train wreck. He tried? He hated me. Why would you say that? When you traveled, he locked me in my room. Your room? Well, the closet. Anything of yours, he would hide in the closet. Then he would have parties pull over, have slumber parties. Slumber parties? Yes, like the ones you and I used to have. We would curl up in bed under the covers and talk all night. He curled up with his friend to talk all night. Oh. Hmm. You traveled a lot. For a while, you were never around. The job was important to me. I had to pay my dues to get ahead. I worked long hours and weekends. I thought all that work I put in would help me move ahead, but my boss kept telling me it wasn't my time and I should just continue working hard and it would happen. Did it? Not how I expected. Are you still working for him? Kind of. Kind of? It's complicated. It always is. My relationship is complicated too. When I moved in, it was perfect in the beginning. Then he started to change. He drank a lot when you were not there. He hid bottles around the house. Take a swig when you aren't looking. I don't understand how you never figured it out. I don't either. He liked to smoke a lot too. Cigarettes? He told mm. me he quit. 
No, I, I don't think it was cigarettes. Do cigarettes make you laugh a lot, eat Doritos, and listen to reggae music? <laughs> Not usually. I was glad when you left there. Me too. So, it's just me and you again? Yeah. At least for the next eight months. End of play. <laughs>